Hello, hello, hello. Today is Saturday, May 4, 2024. It's an important day in the Netherlands. The Netherlands was liberated on May 5, 1945, when the Germans surrendered unconditionally. And May 4 is the day that people meet again at different cities as a reminder of World War II. Never forget, never forgive. Solutions to free fall problem 200. The physics is trivial, but the math is not. You see here my solutions from the year, from the year 2002. 22 years ago. So a mass M is here, distance R from the center of the Earth. It is released at zero speed. And then it reaches a point R0 from the center of the Earth. If you look here at point R, there is kinetic energy there, which is one half mv r squared, which is the difference between this potential energy and this potential energy. Both values are negative. This value here, the magnitude is larger than this here. So that means that this is a positive value. So here you see in a nutshell the physics. It's the conservation of energy because gravity is a conservative field. And so dt is dr divided by vr, and then you do the integral over t, and then you find this result. Frankly, I call this trivial up to this point. The problem is to execute this integral. And I've done that here. But that's not obvious how you go from here to there. By the way, the capital R that I chose in 2002 is R2 in R problem and R0 is here, but that is R1 in R problem. So the issue now is, how can you do the math in doing this integral to end up with this value? Let me first tell you that about 25 people tried desperately, but all their solutions are wrong. But there are eight, which I will mention here, who have the right solution. 
And the way that Oregon and Keith Norman and I could immediately check, since we knew that the answer to question B was about 87, 88 hours. So if they are off by that, <laughs> that means not all answers are correct. So that was very easy. We basically looked at the answer of question B. So Michael Bruning, correct. I use Alapidis, correct. LRCC, Dirk Merrick, Maurizio Bianca Coni, Ulf Heller, of course correct. It's <laughs> always correct. Old V nut and Amel Zena five five six three. I will now show you Keith Norman's solution, his video. It's very short. It basically comes down to solving the integral. If you're ready, I am ready. Here comes Keith Norman's solution. This is Keith's solution to Walter Lewin's problem 200. Uh, it's a gravitational problem where a mass uh, m falls uh, under gravitation from point R2 to point R1. Both points are outside the radius of the Earth. Uh, gravity is a conservative field, therefore energy is conserved. Uh, at this point the mass is at rest, so it only has potential energy, uh, kinetic energy is zero. At some point R, uh, as it moves from uh, R and T, as it moves to a new point, R minus delta R, T plus delta T, uh, it will have some potential energy, according to how far out from the centre of the Earth it is, here, uh, and it will have some kinetic energy. We need to find the total time taken to get from here to there. So, uh, as, kinetic en as total energy is conserved, we can equate this with this, which is what I do there. Okay, I can eliminate m, little m, and rearrange to get that, but I also know that uh, the velocity at this point r is de defined as that. Uh, it's it's uh, dr by dt. It's minus because of the way I've defined this. So I can rearrange that equation to get that by substituting this in. And then I can rearrange again to get this expression here, which I can integrate. I separate out the dr and the dt. Uh, I can integrate to get the total time taken to go from here to there. And that is the key physics uh, that uh, we need to get to. From then on, it really is just maths. And this is why... Um, problems like this are, are why Walter Lewin frequently says mathematics is the language of physics. So, on to the integral, which is the tricky part. Uh, we ended up with this ex expression here, which with a bit of rearranging I can turn into this. I can do a u substitution, uh, noting that r2 over r is always greater than 1, so my u squared is always positive. Uh, when I do the u substitution, I get this, and I've nicely removed the square root, which was the, the whole point of doing the u squared part. Um, I then note that I can uh, express 1 over u squared plus 1 all squared in this format, a bit of uh, partial fraction decomposition, uh, which makes uh, this uh, integration by parts very straightforward. I do that and I get this expression here uh, and then I can substitute back in for R to get this expression here and note uh, as I did on the previous page uh, I'm absorbing uh, various negatives by altering the um, limits of integration, reversing the limits of integration. So we end up with 
a little bit of rearranging, we get this expression here. And when I substitute in uh, for uh, the limits R1 and R2, uh, R2 gives zero for all these terms, and R1 gives that expression here, noting that arctan is always in radians. So that's my answer for part A. Uh, there may be other ways of rearranging this, there are other ways, but essentially you'll end up with something similar to that. Uh, I then plug in the various values, and all I've done here is to just split up into three key components, uh, just to make it a bit easier for me. I plug in the values, and I end up with a time of 87 hours uh, to two uh, significant figures falling from R2 to R1. And that is my final answer. Thank you.